Once upon a digital landscape, a malicious entity arose, unleashing chaos and disruption on an unprecedented scale. Its name was NotPetya, a cyber attack that echoed through the interconnected world, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. NotPetya emerged in 2017 as a harbinger of destruction, disguising itself as a ransomware attack targeting computers worldwide. However, it quickly became apparent that this nefarious entity possessed a far more sinister agenda. Unlike traditional ransomware, NotPetya sought not to extort money, but to sow chaos and dismantle the very foundation of countless organizations. The impact of NotPetya was staggering, transcending geographical boundaries and industry sectors. From multinational corporations to small businesses, from healthcare providers to shipping giants, no organization was spared from its digital wrath. It infiltrated and infected countless computer systems, leaving behind a trail of paralyzed networks and disrupted operations. In mere moments, NotPetya seized control, encrypting data and rendering it inaccessible. Financial records, customer information, proprietary research, and operational infrastructure all fell victim to its insidious grasp. The impact extended beyond mere data a loss, as the very functionality of critical systems was compromised. Production lines halted, supply chains disintegrated, and services ground to a halt, leaving organizations teetering on the edge of collapse. The collateral damage of NotPetya was not confined to the digital realm alone. It reverberated into the physical world, causing immeasurable financial losses and untold human suffering. Countless individuals lost their livelihoods as businesses crumbled under the weight of the attack, while patients languished in hospitals deprived of vital medical services. Governments and cybersecurity experts scrambled to understand the scope and severity of this unprecedented assault. It soon became apparent that NotPetya had leveraged sophisticated techniques to spread rapidly, exploiting vulnerabilities in software systems and even employing techniques previously attributed to state-sponsored actors. The aftermath of NotPetya served as a clarion call, a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities that lurk in our digital ecosystem. It forced organizations to reevaluate their security measures, prompting a collective awakening to the importance of robust cybersecurity frameworks and proactive defense strategies. As we venture further into our story, we delve into the lives of individuals and organizations impacted by NotPetya, witnessing their struggles, resilience, and the unforeseen consequences that ripple through their interconnected lives. Brace yourself, for the tale that unfolds will be one of triumph, adversity, and the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of a relentless digital menace. Now, let us delve deeper into the distinctive nature of NotPetya, a malware that left an indelible mark on the annals of cybersecurity history. NotPetya was not your run-of-the-mill malware. It was a hybrid creature, combining the elements of ransomware and a potent wiper, designed to inflict maximum damage to its victims. Its initial infection vector was as ingenious as it was insidious, compromised software supply chains. The attackers behind NotPetya infiltrated trusted software providers, infecting legitimate software updates with their malicious payload. As unsuspecting users downloaded and installed these seemingly innocuous updates, they unknowingly unleashed the digital beast within their systems. This method allowed NotPetya to masquerade as a legitimate software update, bypassing many security measures and gaining a foothold in numerous organizations simultaneously. Once inside a target system, NotPetya wasted no time in executing its malicious agenda. It swiftly propagated through the network, employing multiple methods to move laterally and infect as many machines as possible. It took advantage of vulnerabilities in the Windows operating system, utilizing the Eternal Blue exploit, which was initially developed by the U.S. National Security Agency, and later leaked by a hacking group known as the Shadow Brokers. By exploiting this vulnerability, NotPetya gained unauthorized access to systems, spreading like wildfire through interconnected networks. It also utilized the PS Exec tool, a legitimate system administration tool, to execute its payload remotely on other machines. This allowed it to rapidly propagate and infect a vast number of systems within an organization. To further amplify its destructive capabilities, NotPetya also leveraged a technique known as credential theft. It stole valid login credentials stored on compromised machines, enabling it to move laterally with increased privileges, penetrating deeper into the network and infecting critical systems. NotPetya was designed to maximize its impact and sow chaos. Rather than merely encrypting files and demanding a ransom, it went a step further. It irreversibly wiped the master boot record and overwrote critical system files, rendering the affected machines completely inoperable. The intent was not financial gain, but rather to inflict widespread disruption and harm, causing irreparable damage to the targeted organizations. In this tale of digital intrigue, the unyielding nature 
of NotPetya's propagation methods and its exploitation of vulnerabilities serve as a stark reminder of the ever-evolving sophistication of cyber threats. The consequences of these malicious acts reverberated far and wide, leaving organizations and individuals grappling with the aftermath of a technological catastrophe. NotPetya's impact transcended industry boundaries, leaving a wide array of sectors reeling from its devastating effects. Here, we shall explore some specific case studies that exemplify the extensive damage inflicted upon various industries and attempt to estimate the staggering financial costs incurred by the affected organizations. Maersk, one of the world's largest shipping companies, fell victim to NotPetya's merciless assault. With its systems compromised, Maersk was forced to shut down numerous ports and terminals worldwide, causing severe disruptions to global trade. The estimated financial losses for Maersk alone exceeded $300 million. Merck & Co., a renowned pharmaceutical company, was another casualty of NotPetya. The attack paralyzed Merck's production and distribution systems, resulting in a significant disruption to the supply of critical medications. The financial impact on Merck was estimated to be around $870 million. Heritage Valley Health System, a healthcare provider in the United States, grappled with the aftermath of NotPetya. The attack severely disrupted their electronic medical record system, leading to canceled appointments, delayed treatments, and administrative chaos. While an exact estimate of financial costs is challenging, the indirect economic impact of patient care and operational recovery was substantial. Ukraine's power grid suffered a crippling blow from NotPetya. The attack targeted the country's utilities, causing widespread power outages across several regions. The financial costs of restoring the grid, coupled with the economic repercussions of the disrupted energy supply, amounted to hundreds of millions of dollars. NotPetya's reach extended into the financial sector, impacting companies such as the Ukrainian Central Bank and various financial institutions. While the exact financial costs are undisclosed, the attack caused significant disruptions in banking operations, transactions, and customer services. It is worth noting that these case studies only scratch the surface of NotPetya's extensive list of victims. Countless organizations, ranging from small businesses to multinational corporations across sectors such as retail, telecommunications, and government, experienced varying degrees of disruption and financial losses. As a whole, the financial costs incurred by the organizations affected by NotPetya were staggering. Estimates suggest that the total financial impact exceed $10 billion, including lost revenue, remediation efforts, system repairs, legal fees, and reputational damage. The toll on affected organizations extend beyond immediate financial losses, encompassing long-term business continuity challenges, customer trust erosion, and the necessity of rebuilding robust cybersecurity frameworks. NotPetya served as a costly wake-up call for organizations worldwide, highlighting the critical importance of cybersecurity preparedness in the face of ever-evolving digital threats. Delving into the geopolitical context surrounding the NotPetya attack reveals a complex web of motives and suspicions. While it is challenging to definitively attribute the attack to any specific entity, there has been speculation regarding state-sponsored involvement and potential ties to the Russian military intelligence agency, commonly known as the GRU. NotPetya's primary focus on Ukrainian organizations and critical infrastructure raises intriguing questions on the motivations behind the attack. Remember that this attack happened years before Russia's war on Ukraine. Ukraine, in the years leading up to the attack in 2017, had been embroiled in a tense geopolitical struggle, particularly with its neighbor Russia. The two nations have faced off in conflicts such as the annexation of Crimea and the ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine. Given this backdrop, some experts believe that NotPetya was an act of cyber warfare with the intention of destabilizing Ukraine and exerting pressure on its government. The attack's targets, including Ukrainian government institutions, energy utilities, and financial systems, align with the strategic objectives of disrupting governance, causing economic turmoil, and undermining public trust. Attribution to the Russian military intelligence agency, the GRU, has been suggested based on several factors. First, the complexity and sophistication of the attack indicate the involvement of a well-resourced and highly skilled actor, pointing toward its state-sponsored operation. The use of advanced propagation techniques, the employment of previously undisclosed vulnerabilities, and the extensive reconnaissance required all suggest the involvement of a nation-state actor. Additionally, the attack's timing is noteworthy. Not Petya struck on the eve of Ukraine's 
Constitution Day, a symbolic occasion for national pride and unity. This timing indicates a deliberate attempt to maximize impact and sow chaos during a significant national celebration. While it is important to approach attribution with caution, several cybersecurity firms and intelligence agencies have implicated the Russian military intelligence agency, GRU, in the NotPetya attack. These attributions are often based on technical indicators, patterns of behavior, and similarities with previous cyber operations attributed to Russian actors. The complexities of cybersecurity attribution and the inherently secretive nature of state-sponsored cyber operations mean that absolute certainty in attribution can be elusive. However, the geopolitical context, the nature of the targets, and the attack's sophistication provide compelling speculation regarding the involvement of the Russian military intelligence agency, serving as a reminder of the evolving landscape of cyber warfare and its potential consequences on the international stage. In the aftermath of the NotPetya attack, organizations faced immense challenges as they grappled with the daunting task of recovery. The attack left them in a state of disarray, struggling to restore their systems, regain access to encrypted data, and mitigate the far-reaching consequences of the assault. Restoring systems and accessing encrypted data proved to be a formidable hurdle for many organizations affected by NotPetya. The malware's destructive nature and irreversible damage to critical files and infrastructure made traditional data recovery methods futile. Organizations had to resort to time-consuming and costly measures, such as rebuilding their systems from scratch, restoring data from offline backups, or even engaging in negotiations with the attackers in desperate attempts to retrieve decryption keys. The challenges of recovery extended beyond technical aspects. Organizations faced significant operational disruptions, causing a cascading impact on their customers, partners, and stakeholders. Delays in production, shipment cancellations, financial losses, and damaged reputations all compounded the difficulties in resuming normal operations. Moreover, the recovery process unearthed a critical realization, the importance of comprehensive and well-tested incident response plans. Many organizations found their existing strategies insufficient to address the scale and sophistication of NotPetya. As a result, they were forced to make on-the-fly decisions, leading to further delays and complications in the recovery process. The long-term consequences of the NotPetya attack were far-reaching. Organizations had to confront the harsh reality of their vulnerabilities and the need to invest significantly in cybersecurity measures. The attack served as a catalyst for a fundamental shift in cybersecurity mindset, emphasizing proactive defense, robust incident response planning, and continuous monitoring of networks and systems. Additionally, the attack highlighted the importance of supply chain security. Organizations recognized the need to verify the integrity of software updates and ensure the trustworthiness of their vendors. Strengthening supply chain resilience and implementing rigorous security controls became crucial objectives to prevent similar attacks in the future. From the recovery process, organizations learned the value of data backup and redundancy. Regular and secure backups of critical data became a non-negotiable requirement, enabling faster recovery and minimizing the impact of future incidents. This experience also emphasized the significance of employee training and awareness, as human error or negligence often served as initial infection vectors. Furthermore, the NotPetya attack spurred the increased collaboration between organizations, industry sectors, and even nations. Sharing threat intelligence, best practices, and lessons learned became vital for collective defense against cyber threats. Public-private partnerships and collaboration between governments and the private sector gained traction, facilitating a more coordinated response to future incidents. In the post-NotPetya world, the importance of robust security practices for organizations has become paramount. NotPetya served as a stark wake-up call, exposing the vulnerabilities that lurk within our interconnected digital landscape. To navigate this treacherous terrain, organizations must make critical changes to their processes surrounding software updates and patch management, as well as implement effective backup and recovery strategies. Regular software updates and patch management are fundamental pillars of a strong cybersecurity posture. In the aftermath of NotPetya, Organizations realized the need for enhanced scrutiny and validation of software updates. Vigilance must be exercised to ensure the integrity and authenticity of updates, particularly those obtained from third-party vendors or through software supply chains. Establishing robust mechanisms for verifying the trustworthiness of updates, such as digital signatures or secure distribution channels, is essential to prevent the inadvertent installation of compromised software. Furthermore, organizations must prioritize the prompt installation of security patches and updates. Vulnerabilities in software are constantly being discovered, and patching these vulnerabilities in a timely manner is critical to preventing exploitation by cyber threats. 
implementing a well-defined patch management process, which includes regular vulnerability assessments, testing, and deployment schedules, is crucial to maintain a secure and resilient system. Backup and recovery strategies play a pivotal role in mitigating the impact of future attacks. NotPetya highlighted the need for organizations to adopt a multi-tiered approach to data backup. Regular and automated backups should be performed, and backup copies should be stored securely, preferably offline or in isolated environments. This prevents attackers from compromising or encrypting the backup data, ensuring its availability for recovery purposes. In addition to backups, organizations should consider implementing system imaging or snapshot-based recovery solutions. These technologies capture the entire system state at specific points in time, allowing for rapid recovery by restoring the entire system to a known clean state. This approach minimizes the downtime associated with restoring individual files or applications. It is crucial to regularly test the effectiveness of backup and recovery strategies through simulation exercises and tabletop drills. These exercises help identify any gaps or weaknesses in the process, ensuring that the organization is well prepared to respond effectively in the event of an actual attack. Moreover, organizations must provide employee training and awareness programs. Human error and social engineering tactics remain significant attack vectors. By educating employees about common cyber threats, phishing techniques, and safe computing practices, organizations can build a human firewall that acts as the first line of defense against potential attacks. Lastly, fostering a culture of cybersecurity within the organization is vital. This includes establishing clear security policies, enforcing strong access controls, and regularly monitoring and auditing system activities. Encouraging a proactive and collaborative approach to cybersecurity empowers employees to be vigilant and report any suspicious activities promptly. In conclusion, the tale of NotPetya, a malicious hybrid creature born from compromised software supply chains, serves as a chilling reminder of the far-reaching consequences of cyber attacks in our interconnected world. Originating from unknown sources, NotPetya swiftly propagated through networks, leaving a trail of destruction and chaos in its wake. Global organizations across various sectors bore the brunt of NotPetya's relentless assault, from shipping and logistics to manufacturing, energy, healthcare, and financial services. The impact was profound. Systems were crippled, operations disrupted, and financial losses soared into the billions of dollars. The motives behind NotPetya appeared to be a blend of geopolitical maneuvering and cyber warfare, with Ukrainian organizations and critical infrastructure serving as primary targets. In the immediate aftermath, organizations faced significant challenges in response and recovery efforts. Restoring systems, accessing encrypted data, and mitigating the consequences of the attack required Herculean efforts. The experience exposed weaknesses in incident response plans, supply chain security, and backup strategies. However, it also fostered a transformation in cybersecurity practices, with organizations recognizing the urgent need for robust measures and enhanced collaboration. From this sobering experience, crucial lessons have been learned. Organizations must prioritize robust cybersecurity practices, including secure software updates, diligent patch management, and comprehensive backup and recovery strategies. Employee training and awareness are vital, as human vigilance remains a critical line of defense. International collaboration and information sharing are key to preventing and mitigating future attacks, as cyber threats transcend borders and demand a unified response. Let us embrace enhanced security measures bolstering our defenses against evolving cyber threats. Let us foster collaboration among nations, sharing threat intelligence, best practices, and resources. Let us invest in research and development, advancing technologies that detect and mitigate cyber risks. Let us educate and empower individuals, cultivating a cybersecurity conscious culture. Together, we can forge a path towards a safer digital landscape, preventing the reoccurrence of attacks like NotPetya and safeguarding the foundations of our interconnected world. As the story of NotPetya fades into memory, let us carry forward its enduring lessons, ensuring that our collective efforts create a resilient and secure future for generations to come. As always, thank you for learning with me. Please let me know if I missed anything or got anything wrong, since I would love to learn more. If you liked what you heard, please consider subscribing. I appreciate the time you have spent watching this video. No matter who you are, you only get 24 hours in a day. Thank you for spending a portion of it with me. See you next time.